Hey guys, get ready to find out the truth about sex with me, Grace Victory, and my MTV Sex Squad, where me and a few of my friends delve deep to reveal the naked truth about all things sex. No hiding, no holding back, no taboos, just sex talk. Today, absolutely anything goes as I answer your questions with my friend, Kelly. So question is, yeah. I'm too fat to get on top, I feel too fat, I get out of breath, what do I do? Listen babes, wherever position you're doing, you're going to get out of breath because that whole sex thing is hot and sweaty. <laughs> there is no easy way of having a very good sex session. You need to be sweating. He's with you because he loves you, he loves your body and he, and he thinks you're beautiful and he yeah. wants you to go on he top and he of, wants all, all of this. this. All of all this. All of this. So that's what he wants. He wants it. If this was you, how would you tell your man that you didn't feel comfortable going on top because you watching. felt, well, he is probably watching, you felt fat and you were getting out of breath? <laughs> I do agree with that communication, but if you're not quite comfortable being like, listen, babe, I'm not feeling this whole thing that's happening right now, yeah. you could kind of like, switch up gently. There's always ways around it in the bedroom department. It's knowing your partner, knowing how to talk to him, mm. and it is about communication. It is. Also being the person that leads the start of sex, because if you know that like it's going to come into you having to be on top, you lead that sex and you are like Take actually... Take control. Yeah, so, you know, have sex on your sofa. I there recommend it. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually easier to go on top if you're on a sofa than it is to be on a bed. Yeah. So 100%. try that. They should try that. What advice would you give to people who have been are being trolled or are being abused because of the way they look? The one thing I will say is to always remind yourself that what people are saying about you is not about you, but about them. No one knows, unless you've had it done to you, what it's like to be continuously body shamed yeah. on the internet, on your Instagram page. In real life. In real life. Like I've actually had it happen to me in real life where I've been crossing a road and some guys in the van shouted out, you fucking fat bitch. And it really, really hurt because it was like, I was just going about my normal yeah. day and people don't realise how much that can affect somebody. Mm -hmm. And it was really, I just cried in the street, like I'm a bit nuts really, but just sobbed my heart out because it was so horrible. Yeah. You're a brave person for dealing with it and you are entitled to feel sad, upset, cry. Those are feelings that you have to kind of embrace. I don't actually agree with people saying like, no. you should not like cry. You yeah. cry all you want, babes, you cry. And then you come back and you and understand you that up. you are beautiful, no matter what size you are, no matter what race you are, no matter what you've been through. Amen. 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 We had a question come in from a girl. She lost quite a bit of weight and she's lost a lot of her boobage. Yeah. So cleavage is sagging. sagging. And she's considering getting a boob job. What's your opinion on that? Yeah, it can be a big thing when you feel self-conscious, especially in the breast area, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Sorry, I have saggy boobs. Really, well, mine are worse than I've seen yours. So mine are, mine are literally pointing down south. My nipple is down there. And I was gonna get a boob job, but then I realized that Firstly, going under the knife is a massive, massive thing. Mm. And do my yes. boobs affect my life that much to go under the knife? They don't. But I'm all for women loving their bodies. Mm. But also, if you, if you can't love it, then and you want to change it, then change it. That's right. Right, Kelly, next topic, friends with benefits. Oh. The question come in saying, do people actually have that? Is that even a thing? It definitely happens, but it has not happened to me for like, you know, Eight Long years time. I've been with my fiance. But it happens for sure because I've had friends that have got that going on. Do you think women get more emotionally involved though? Sometimes, sometimes men do. I think I've been, I've had both. Yeah. It's all about saying, I want to have sex with you, purely friends with benefits. With protection. Safety first. Always. It's normal, go for it if you want to, but if you don't then it's cool. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Nailed it. Thank you guys so much for sending in your questions and thank you to Callie helping me answer them. Thanks for having me, babe. I've loved, loved it. Time. Best time. Best time Loved it. And we'll hopefully see you guys soon. Bye.